Good day, folks. Uh, this is a quick video to explain how to use uh, my crypto trading bot. Um, basically, I did the uh, trading bot in the past, and uh, I mean, it used to be like a trading bot that would have like a an automated automated strategies. But then I simplified it, and I'm just it's more like a trading helper bot. It it's gonna automating. It's gonna automate getting out, in and out of position using the Kraken futures trading platform. So basically, all it's gonna do is manage your entries, stop loss, and it will trail the stop when you're profitable. So, without further ado, um, this is my GitHub page. It's first my first GitHub project, but it's not the first time I go. I'm just starting to using Git so that. Uh, so that I get to learn it, it's a pretty good tool. Um, so yeah, what what you're gonna do is just get clone this, or uh, or just get the, download the two Python file and the config file, and uh, you're good to go. So <clears throat> so yeah, in the config file, there's a couple things you can do. Um, you can leave the APIs key blank or like as they are so so you can back test the application see how it works see, see how it feels but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you how it how it works and feels so there's two ways of uh setting up so basically it's gonna be based on the action so you have your preferred size you can go either long or short and there's the action you can add, leave it blank or set up now if you set up now as the value it's gonna well it's gonna take the action on your preferred side now but not exactly now it's gonna wait for the price to move uh, in the direction that you want so long action now let's say uh, i save the file start the bot Right now, it's gonna do. It's gonna wait for the price to move up by uh, 0 0.1 percent. So that's like a dollar eighty from the entry. So when it, it's like 27.10, it's gonna get in unless it goes low. If it goes lower. It's gonna change the. Uh, it's gonna change the basically the number where it gets in so at this point you know you just add a dollar eighty from the low if you want to know where it's gonna get in assuming it's gonna ever come back up I suppose it would might hit some support right here Or not, I don't know. But uh, yeah, while we wait for the setup, um, I can go ahead and explain uh, the other things in the config file. So there's the bid size. It's gonna default. It's uh, 50 for default. So if you want, uh, see, it bought for 50. It entered at 23, 22. So, so yeah, bid size 50. The entry price is. That's only used when you when you have nothing for action. If if there's nothing for action, it's gonna it's gonna use this as a trigger. But I'll I'll explain it later. Um, so product ID. If you wanna trade uh, any other pairing, you just have to uh, change it here. So for Bitcoin, it would be uh, XBT, right? And uh, yeah, preferred side long, you can use short, stop loss, 0.0024, that's, that means like 0.24%. Uh, so if the price move 0.24% against your position, it's gonna trigger the stop loss. That's about four, 
it's I think it's 430 something so if it would move like at 18 below 18 19 it would trigger the stop loss and the price we're looking at is, is not this is Binance I use the, the Binance uh, chart because it's, it's got more liquidity there's no gap it's prettier but really it's not like it's it's two dollar above um, the Kraken price but uh, yeah so whatever they're pretty much in sync so whenever so I said 1819 so in in this case it would be 1821 so you just add two dollars so when whenever it would cross pretty much the the red line here it would trigger the the stop loss but of course right now it does i mean it's just like a back test because there's no api key so nothing really happens but if you want to uh actually trade with it you're gonna have to go into your your kraken futures client and go into settings and find your API keys so you'd want to put the keys in between the brackets and uh, in between you yeah, had the, the double quote and then you'll be good to go so looks like the price is gonna move up so it could be like a a good example of uh, a successful trade setup so basically there's a three step to the setup it's gonna first it's gonna go and activate uh, like a break even which is it's profitable I, I call it break even because it's gonna pay it's gonna be good enough to pay for a loss so if you trigger break even and then take profit and then you, you set up another trade and you you don't trigger break even you just trigger stop loss you'd have like a break even 50 50 50 you have a break even trade and then there's like other levels so after break even it's going to start trailing and it's going to trail like 0.55 percent behind when the price move like uh, one percent or uh, one point one percent above the entry it's gonna start point it's gonna trail point five five behind and then uh, sorry um then there's another trading like if you locked like a one point one percent profit i think it's gonna start trading like a point seven five percent behind so that's there's like the yeah so there's the second it's like trailing level two type deal. <clears throat> so this is how you'd want to set up for uh, for a regular buy now position. If you wanna, if you wanna set up like a trigger, that's like I could say like a, like a trigger short you'd have to uh, remove the action just leave the action empty set up a trigger price so let's say I'd like to uh, sell short whenever it's like 1832 just uh, want to save that <clears throat> so basically <clears throat> And like 1832, that's like Kraken's future, right? So Binance, it would be like 1834, because it runs about two bucks higher these times. Man, it's not even two. It's more like a buck higher, but uh, whatever. So to lock to to break even, this guy is gonna have to go up to eighteen thirty nine. If we go above uh, eighteen thirty nine, 
1832 on the on Kraken. The other the other guy uh, the other script is gonna set up. <clears throat> and this is this is flawless. Like I've tried and tried, and uh, it's pretty solid script. Um, what I'll do. Uh, I'll uh, I'll do like another YouTube video. It's gonna be like a deep dive into um, the code behind it. If you're interested, right now I'm just doing like a how to use the the bot video that I'm gonna link to my uh, my GitHub project. So this is a short trigger. I guess we could have like a long trigger also. So basically, short triggers, they're only gonna, they're only good for one way. So basically, if you want a trigger short, you know, the price have to be below your trigger. If the price is above the trigger, and you want to set up a trigger short, it's gonna do it immediately after the price moves uh, in your favor by 0.1% as if like you do it like a now strategy so so the trigger yeah, is only good for one way so the price have to be below and you want to trigger short and if you if you want to trigger long the price has to be above your trigger price but uh, that's the gist of it I guess we can try uh, a quick uh, another setup for a trigger long maybe see if it's gonna it's gonna happen so let's say it drops below uh, 1827 trigger long <clears throat> so we have a few options going on, something's gonna happen eventually, maybe. But yeah, I'll leave uh, a link to my uh, my GitHub project in the description. So if you wanna play around with this bot, uh, feel free to do it. Uh, yeah. Oh, something's happening. So it dropped below eighteen twenty-seven. So my long trigger, like basically right now, I know disactivated, like because the price went below eighteen twenty-seven. So next, uh, and basically the when I see the price, I mean the the mark price. It's not the actual whatever order went in. It's the uh, it's the average between the ask and the bid. I like I like that better, cause uh, it's less noisy. But um, but yeah. So technically, this the long triggered here. So if the price, like if the uh, the mark price moves up by a dollar eighty, um, it's gonna buy. And that's all that's that's gonna change like with the uh, so if the yeah if the price goes down to 24 well it's gonna wait till it goes up like a dollar 80 after that that low to get in Yeah, <clears throat> just gonna wait for something to happen. Hopefully, it's not gonna take too long. Just wanna <clears throat> show that it's actually working. You know, sometime it could take. Uh, oh, there we go. 
So the the mark price move uh, yeah, eighteen twenty six dot six. So although th this doesn't represent the mark price, this is more like uh, the last time somebody bought. But uh, yeah, it's it's why I like to uh, it's why I like to use this better because uh, Binance like even even though uh, yeah it's it's just there's enough liquidity that you you can see it moving consistently. So by the way it goes, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a bad setup. Well, pretty sure I never really know, but. It went down just after we uh, we bought, so so after yeah. So twenty six dot six, that's the mark. <clears throat> so if, when it goes below twenty two dot three, it's gonna trigger the stop loss. Yeah, that's it. So stop loss triggered. It's uh, unfortunate, but uh, I mean it's just testing, right? There, we're not uh, actually leave position. So so that worked. This is not gonna trigger because uh, it didn't go up enough to trigger the short. And this is probably gonna trigger also. I think we said 19. It's not 2150. I wish we could have had a uh, profitable setup to uh, to test with, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. You guys get the, the picture. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So right now the the price, you know, it's kind of going sideways. So there's a bit of an uptrend, but. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't say we're actually uptrending at all. Like it's you know it's been going like that for quite a bit. But uh, you never really know. Seem to have some support here. This is about to pop. Just a little bit below 19. Boom. That's it. All right. So. I hope if uh, I hope it's good enough for you guys. Uh, if you have any question, please feel feel free to leave it, leave them in the comments. And uh, and that's a wrap. Uh, thanks for viewing, folks. Have a good day.